There we go. <gasps> we laugh. Goody for you. <laughs> Hopefully this week we won't have problems uh, with uh, Skype showing. <laughs> we'll have plenty of problems. We always have problems. They, they hate us. Well, at least this time I have my Skype window strip, uh, shrink, shrunk down off to the side. They hate us. No, oh, babe. All right. Anyway, talk to Bruce Hello? Broker. Hello. Sure. I'm looking all these new. Hello. Hey. Fire! 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 Oh, hold on a second. Yes. Do you want anything in particular? <laughs> You don't happen to know a way out of here, do you? No, but, but you don't want to get out of here, believe me. The world outside is a cruel place. Mistakes you make out there have real consequences. You could lose millions of dollars. Let's say only because you were distracted for ti tiny, a uh, little, ti tiny little moment when your wife is shouting, Look, Brucey, it's a boy! For example, that kind of guilt will haunt you for the rest of your life. Not really important. Go on with your phone call. <sighs> I was planning to do that anyway. Hello? <sighs> you still there? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I've always wondered if lamp designers are rejects from the International School of Ugly. This lamp is certainly proof of that. Oh my goodness. The only light they're getting comes from the TV set. Hmm. It seems to like the program. Of course it does! This is exactly on its level! <laughs> A dinosaur movie. I don't like dino movies. You know how they end. Everyone's extinct. <laughs> Tempting. But I don't have the time to watch TV. Alright, let's talk to Professor Hello. Knock. Hey, you don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a velociraptor in disguise. I'm Edna. I am Professor Nock. Pleased to meet you. Okay. What are you doing, what are you back, doing there? back there? I am doing research in the field of paleontology. Behind the armchair? Where else would I be? You won't find a prehistoric skeleton lying in the middle of the room. It would have been recovered a long time ago. That makes sense. Hmm. Hello, Chesty. Yes, you are first. And no, that phone is not connected to anything. This is a nut, or a nut house, so. An asylum. Uh, are you one of those mad scientists? Are you one of those mad scientists? I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Oh, the use nowadays. They see a man with white hair crouching behind an armchair in an asylum, and they jump to the mad scientist stereotype at once. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? More than most. Did you know that he has a dark secret? I knew it. I knew it. Yes. 
He's breeding dino human hybrids in his secret facility nice on Jupiter. See something. No. I didn't know that. Eh. <laughs> uh I'll really quick share screen. What a concept. Sorry, babe. Um do you know do how you I know can, I can get, get out of here? here? <laughs> of course I do. I always use the laundry lift to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. The laundry lift goes all the way to Peru? Of course not, silly. You have to transfer at the continental shelf in the Sonoran Desert. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. Hmm. I'll drop by again later. If the world still exists, then, is what you mean to say. Yeah. Give or take ten minutes. <laughs> Give or take ten minutes. That the world still exists, give or take ten minutes. Um, let's look at the uh, lamp. This is a lamp. What's back here? A man and a bee costume. Pinking shears. Hello, bee man. Hello, stranger woman. <laughs> You can call me Edna, or you can call me Rebecca, the Relentless Reven Revenger from Reno. You can call me Rebecca, the Relentless Revenger from Reno. As you wish, Rebecca. Actually, the Actually, name is Edna. the name is Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool, get up, buddy. Why are you all locked up here? <laughs> Why are you wearing, Why are you a, bee wearing suit? a bee suit? To show solidarity with other men in bee suits. To open the world market for the insectoid garment as conceptual performance satire. To boycott the fashion industry. And finally, to express my admiration for those hard working honey collectors. Admit it. You lost a wager. I lost a wager. <laughs> Why are you locked up here? You seem to be wise and balanced. I have a theory. I think it has something to do with my clothes. Men in bee suits have a bad reputation. Where do you think the bad reputation of the bee look stems from? There's no question about that. The media. Men in bee suits are generally represented as the laughing stock. And the main culprit? Children's animated films. Animation movie authors are basically <laughs> mounting a campaign against us. The Mexican in The Simpsons, Charlie Brown in Peanuts, or Bumblebee from Transformers. Men in bee suits are the clowns of the media. Why do you have such big ears? Better to see you with, my dear. Do you know a way out of here? A speedy mental recovery comes to mind. That, of course, almost never happens. Maybe that's because the criteria of mental health are subject to Dr. Marcel's judgment. And, to be honest, who would admit to his own customers that their demand has been fulfilled? That's quite cynical for someone in a bee suit. Anyway, some of us loonies use the old laundry lift system. The unauthorized changing of floors is possible that way. The laundry lift to freedom is yet to be built. Hmm. Are you drawing anything in particular? 
I'm still waiting for inspiration. A sip of coffee would surely be of help, but I'm ashamed because of my allergy. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My allergy leads to an overproduction of earwax. Oh. Ugh. Why do you have such big ears? All the better to eat you with. And as a valve for my exceptionally high output of earwax, I'm afraid. Exceptionally high output of earwax? Yuck! Yes, it is no picnic. I don't think it should be used in the same context as picnic at all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. Ah, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. I'll be going then. Go ahead. Hmm. Is gonna you just you just gonna leave her? You, know, you don't wanna enjoy the party? Well I'm curious, I wanna know where's the kitchen? Uh the kitchen is oh, back another way. We can't get there right now. But it would be worth it to go into the bar. Hi, Edna. I'm Peter. Really? I'm Peter. What parents call their child Peter? How old are you anyway? Peter Griffin. Peter my, 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 my. What an exceptionally ugly name. I'd kill myself if I had a name like that. Uh, I mean, it isn't that bad. The name might be ugly, but it becomes you in a way. I'm just reminded of the fact that this game it was originally written in Danish. Yes, it was. I think Peter is something of a joke there or something, unless I am completely missing the reference. I believe it. Everyone loved the B-movie. That movie is no joke. It made me look at Park... Uh, those spring Wait, things I'm... shaped like animals a completely different way. Especially those shaped like little bumblebees. I mean, I... come on, you can I... ride a bee that way. <laughs> oh, God. I highly doubt they went for a Barry Benson joke in a game like this. Do you know a way out of here by any chance? There is no way out. Not out of this building. Not out of this skin of mine. Not out of this life. Is there something wrong with you? Something wrong doesn't even begin to describe it. It's my 40th birthday today. Yet one more year, one more decade on the odometer. <sighs> my life really can't get much worse. You have a bipolar disorder, right? The doc calls it that, yeah. And what do you call it? I call it Peter. Oh, Edna, I don't think you'll actually be able to cheer him up. That's not how bipolar disorder works. I better leave you don't know. There's the power right. of trying anyone want to keep me and company? the sheer willpower You're of right. mental instability of Edna. Either. Come on. Barkeep, one drink, please. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm still serving this gentleman here. But he already has a drink. Don't tell me my job. Okay. Barkeep, 
One drink, please. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm still serving this gentleman here. But he already has a drink. Don't tell me my job. Don't tell me my job. That is a bad translation. <laughs> I could try to cheer you up a little. You might as well try. I don't see how that could make things worse. Hmm. What would be the best option? Your problems are completely irrelevant in a cosmological context. What eerie sense would that even be best in? I don't even know. So this man walks into the docks. Mm. It's a beautiful... Wait. <clears throat> Good morning, stars shine. The Earth says hello! You could literally just have her click them. It's yeah. a beautiful day and the sun is shining. Well, okay. That doesn't help you a great deal in here. You are locked up in here after all. So you can't share in all the great activities people can do on the outside. But maybe it helps to bear in mind that everyone else is having fun. Because unlike you, they can do whatever they please. And let's be honest here. They're probably happy that you're not with them. You're not exactly the life and soul wow. of a party. Um, wow. I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. Edna just seems autistic, now that I look at it. She doesn't take people's <laughs> reactions into consideration. Although maybe, <laughs> that could be something as a result of all the memory erasure and uh, shock therapy that she seems to have gotten over time. Functions a lot like a lobotomy, except you don't actually have to probe inside someone's brain. At least you're still alive. Why are you reading into this instead of just enjoying the game? In your life where the only way is down. The good time because that's how I return. work. And you might as well forget about all the Please achievements no. you haven't made by now. Enjoy the you stupid Dutch translation. From this point on, that they worked so very hard on. Worse. Uh, I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh, yeah, right. So, this man walks into the docks. Well, the man is approximately your age, so that's old. The doc says, Peter, you won't be around much longer. That wasn't the whole joke, was it? What joke? I only wanted to gently prepare you for what's coming soon. Oh, my. This is not exactly encouraging. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> At least, you've got your health. Still, the decline will happen inevitably. You might as well be happy that at least the machine is still ticking away satisfactorily. Because that's what the body basically is. Not much more than a machine. And every machine ends up in a junkyard eventually. Of course, there's a long phase where you try to keep it running. A little fix here, a little repair there. But still, it, it's inevitable. It's better to not even try. No machine is designed to last forever. And you need to recognize the point where it's merely a nuisance to all. Hmm. I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh, yeah. Right. Your problems are completely irrelevant in a cosmological context. To be more precise, you are irrelevant from a cosmological standpoint. I mean, what good does your existence do to anybody? And who will care when you don't exist anymore? Have you ever done anything that will leave a lasting effect? What is there that will last anyway? <laughs> Nothing. Even the pyramids will crumble and fall eventually. In the end, all is futile. And all you ever struggled for, oof, just hot air. What I'm trying to say is, uh, well, 
What exactly? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh, yeah, right. I give up. You're simply too hard a nut to crack. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. Hmm. Someone has scribbled beware of Frank on it. Strange. Hmm. Oh, come on. That's where you put coins. Edna, you are so useful. This isn't exactly Shangri-La. Empty. of spoons. Bring your spoons back to the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. Because of the guy who's digging down the stairs. Um, let's talk to Drugglejug. Hello. Drugglejug. Is that your name? Drugglejug. Am I not allowed in there? Druggle Jug. But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug. Too bad. <sighs> what a guy. If only I could impress him somehow. Okay. Hello. Hello, young lady. Wait. Stay there. There's no doubt. You're different from the others. Your aura is highly energetic. Who are you? Where do you come from? I can't even read all of that. Uh, it's not... I'm Edna. It's an important where I come from. The important thing is I want to get... something. Uh, I am Edna. I've come from the dungeons of a tower. I am Brachma. I have come from the third Xenabre of the Eagle. I am Dr. Mycel. I have come from my office. Good day! I am... Uh, I am your cousin Betty from Australia. I can't even fucking... Yeah. No, you can't. I'm trying to read it as it says it, and it is a... I am a free spirit. I've come from the cosmic stream of existence. I'll be going. Obviously, this is not the right time. I'm Edna. It's not important where I come from. The important thing is, I want to get out of here. Yes. Your impulse for freedom is very strong. Your chi doesn't only flow. It gushes. You have been reprimanded far too often. You have been hindered far too long. The levees are about to break. The volcano is about to erupt. Wow, those are good guesses. What brings you here, Edna? Eh, uh, who, who are, are you? you? My name ceased to be of importance long ago. The moment I inherited the wisdom of the cosmos, I decided to abandon all ties to my former existence. I am known as the Aluman now. You loonies love to refer to yourselves only by your characteristics, don't you? It's just easier to memorize. <laughs> what is it exactly that you're doing here? I'm checking the flow of the chi for holes. Why are you doing that? Well, somebody has to do it. 
You can't just walk about with holes in your chi now, can you? The whole yin might be flooded by yang, and you can kiss the feng shui goodbye. Mm hmm. Why are you dressed that way? Why are you dressed that way? The aluminum enhances my astral conductivity. This way, I'm always in touch with the essential. And the A on your chest? That is not an A. It is the Earth Rune. It connects me with Gaia, the Earth Goddess. And the diving goggles? It protects me from chlorine. What did you think? Okay. Who lives in the Cushion Who Castle? Who lives in the Cushion Castle? That would be King Adrian. Quite an interesting case. He got struck by lightning and developed certain abilities after that. In fact, his case supports some of my theories. Uh -huh. What exactly are those what theories? What exactly are those theories? I have developed a couple of theories regarding Adrian's case. After lightning struck him, he suddenly had psychic abilities. I don't know exactly how to name my theory. I'm considering psychokinetic conductivity through electric currents. Electrostatic psi extension, high voltage precognition, or just fortune doesn't always favor fools. Mm hmm. What, what abilities, abilities are those? He sees things before oh, they precognition. Happen. Wow! No wonder he's your king. He must be very powerful then. Indeed he is. He always wins at Chinese checkers that way. Yeah, yeah, but in addition to that... And at Scrabble. But the possibilities... You said it. The recreation room is full of board games. And Adrian wins them all. He even won the Jigsaw Puzzle Contest. The prize was a medal of real gold. Mm-hmm. Why do you call him King? Why do you call him King? Well, that was the wager in a game of Yahtzee. We were naive enough to think we could beat him. B-Man had worked out a strategy. The ticket inspector developed a fail-safe system. Professor Nock supplied us with the medication. He had scraped together everything he could get his hands on for one whole year, just for the occasion. Petra even designed a special choreography for us to follow. Alas, it was to no avail. Well, we could have done worse. Imagine if Petra had won. Pilates every morning. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Uh... Do you know a way out of here? Outside and inside are just two aspects of the same circumstance. Like the two sides of a coin. Neither be inside nor outside, Edna. Just be. Mm hmm. Hey, Noe! Hey, Noe. How you doing? Uh... I have to get a move on. Take care of your karma. Let's go to the telephone. Well, next it. So much expression with so few lines. A masterpiece. Mhm. Mm and then look at the phone. A pay phone. Finally, I can call my lawyer. If only I could remember his number. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. It's broken anyway. The receiver's missing. It's with Bruce, isn't it? Yes, it is. Guess who's here? Yes, it's Noe. Look at the sign. This sign couldn't be much less subtle, I'd say. Uh, lamp. A lamp. Okay. Let's go back to the recreation room. Um, well, you could do something else, but 
Oh? Did you interact with everything? I'm using this sign for orientation. The phone is to the Don't right. forget that you can't. There's more than just looking. I I forget. I leave it there. The artist seems to have had a hard life already. Without Try someone using running around things. and stealing his art. I know. Dang. You know, but you don't missing. do. How's it going? It's going good. It's bright enough in here. Yeah, sure. No. First of all, I don't have the time to relax. And secondly, someone swiped all the cushions. Oh, right. Adrian. What you want? Struggle jar. Uh. What? But I need to be granted an Still audience didn't with the do what you needed to do. All right. I can see that. I'll have to earn a little respect. I'm trying to think of exactly where I should go. This is all junk from occupational therapy. Mm hmm. Poster informs readers about the proper use of the laundry lift. It doesn't say anything about its practical use as a means of public transportation, though. <laughs> Passenger. Hi there. <coughs> Hi there. <coughs> he seems to be a little nervous, doesn't he? Hi there. Tickets, please. Tickets? I don't even see a train. That's because there is no train. Dun dun dun. So what do I need a ticket for? It doesn't make sense. Hold your horses. The ticket is for the laundry lift system. Of course. The laundry lift goes through the whole house. There are stops in the basement, on the second floor, and here, on the first floor. Hmm. I want, I want to buy, to buy a, ticket, a ticket, please. 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 <laughs> That's a good one. Tickets are highly sought after items in this house. There are only a handful available. And you'll <sighs> be getting one only after hell freezes over. So how do I get a ticket? This is completely illogical. The system is airtight. I made it myself. And it's foolproof. So there simply must be a way to get a ticket. There is. All contingencies have been accounted for. Everybody gets a ride when it's their turn. But there isn't even a waiting line. Wouldn't it make sense to go and look for it then? Instead of standing around here and blocking the line? Whose turn is it next? Number uh, two will be next. And who is number two? You better ask them that yourself. I'm not giving any information about passengers. Who is in possession of a ticket, if you don't mind telling me? Huh. There are lots of tickets in circulation. Mr. Frock has one. He holds a season ticket, and he's our most frequent customer. Which means he lives in the laundry lift. Professor Knock has another ticket. Meaning the ones found on the ground floor. Alloman has the third ticket. 
I'm uh, considering withdrawing it. He doesn't use it according to the rules. Okay. And who else owns a ticket? You said there are many tickets circulating. Yes. Uh, why? Uh, isn't that a lot? What's the problem with that nervous guy in the corner over there? Uh, don't pay attention to him. I've been yelling at him to stop being so nervous all the time. But do you think he'll listen to me? <laughs> Maybe the man would be less nervous if you stopped yelling at him. I mean... What? You mean he acts like that because of me? Now that is... Hey! You! You'd better ask as if I wasn't here! Otherwise, I'll come over there! And then it's ass whooping time! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Oh boy, what's in here? Turn on the light and see. Wow. Who are you? I'm Petra. Give me a P. Or, you know what? You can keep the P. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm throwing a surprise party. Where are the other guests? Hello! It's a surprise party! What kind of surprise would it be if everyone knew about it? You didn't have to do that. The party <laughs> is not for you. Today is the birthday of Peter! Oh. But please, don't tell him the party is here! It's supposed to be a surprise! We'll see about that. You have to promise you won't tell him. Okay. Promise? All right, I promise. Swear it! I swear. Cross your heart! Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die! I swear it, okay? Okay. I'll take your word for it. I had to pinch my cat every time of the month. All she, all she wants is dick or pussy. I mean, to be fair, she is a cat. All she would want is <coughs> still technically pussy. Meow. <coughs> if you get the pun. <laughs> anyway, um, interesting, interesting choice, choice of venue. venue. What do you mean? Don't you think more people would come if it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? I don't know. It is a surprise party after all. And what could possibly be more surprising? Surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. That's more like it. Oh, yeah? So, where would you have thrown the party? Um, the break room isn't the break room that lounge. Maybe. How about the break room? Why don't you just click the no! answers. We never go in there anymore. Three people vanished there once. They were actors. I think they were auditioning for a play. They were never seen again. How about the bar? How about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. I hope the party can cheer him up a little. Hmm. What about the How TV about room? The TV room? Everyone just hangs around in front of the tube. 
the recreation the recreation room that was my first thought too but king adrian was opposed king adrian he rules the lounge he is a wise and just king and rumor has it that he is psychic he rarely receives visitors though i'm afraid his right hand man druggle jug is as tough as he is attractive Okay. Any room would have been better. I like it here. Okay. Do you know a way out of here? Do you know a way out of here? Why would I want to get out of here? There's always something going on in here. The people are nice. Plus, you don't have to feel embarrassed about anything in here. If you forget to put your pants on, nobody will notice. If you want to get out of here, you'd better talk to Emilio. If you can find him, I believe he's currently working on a tunnel. If you get really desperate, you could talk to the key master. But I'd only do that as a last resort if I were you. That guy is dangerous. His solitary confinement cell is on the second floor, though. So you'll have to wait until after lunch. We're being escorted to the dorm then, you know. Key master, huh? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off on your way out. We'll see. <laughs> I like how the character is still well lit after we turn off the lights. But, whatever. Let's look at this sign. Staff only. Well, it's not like staff are constantly there. Um... So what to do? Someone has scribbled Beware of Frank on it. Strange. No, he's one big fat bumblebee. That was. Excuse me, I still need them. Okay. You'll figure it out eventually, probably Hello, by the Bina. seventh or eighth stream. Wings. Calling me stranger. As you wish, stranger woman. I'll be going then. Go ahead. <laughs> this is where the barkeeper mixes his drinks. I'm afraid my retina might detach if I get too close. <laughs> it's broken, and there are no balls. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. Mm. Cut that out, please. I need the darkness, so I don't have to see the world around me. It depresses me. Okay. Okay.
This is art. It is very tempting that this is exactly what such art is all about. The angrier I get at my own understanding of the need not to swipe the key, the deeper the genius of the work becomes. And the more I realize I can't take the key, the madder I get as a result. Okay. What, have you figured out what you're supposed to do? Um... What are the pinking shoes for? Oh dear. So. There are so many things you need to do that you haven't Ooh, done. Right up to the door. But now it has a problem. But I'm not helping you. Decoration. I want you to figure this out I on your own. I can place in my nightshirt. But, if you pay me in kisses, I might be willing to call the helpline. Say that again? Oh, did you not hear me, or do you just... I was saying, I'm not going to help you, but... If you were willing to pay me in kisses... I might be willing to call the helpline. You know, back in the old days when you had those point-and-click adventures, you could call an actual helpline. Oh. Except the helpline is me. Hello? Because <laughs> Hello? you have no idea what you're doing. Hello? Oh, hold on a second. Yes? Do you want anything in particular? Can I borrow your telephone? Absolutely not! This phone is my lifeline! I don't dare think about what could happen if I was unavailable. Just imagine me putting that thing away for a minute! When my wife is shouting, Look, Brucey, it's a boy, for example! Or worse still, imagine, during that brief distraction, when I look over to my wife, my stock portfolio goes into free fall. I would lose billions! Because I had been on the phone just for a tiny little instant. One moment of carelessness. And my whole life is in ruins. Can you get off the phone for a sec? Certainly not. That's my broker on the line. We're talking millions here. Not really important. Go on with your phone call. I was planning to do that anyway. Hello? You still there? Okay. Mm. Hello, Professor. Attack of the pterosaurs! No, oh, it's just you. Hello, Edna. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. Hmm. How's research coming along? Oh, uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of dino genes for my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Ah, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends on it. 
The dinosaurs become extinct. The dinosaurs become extinct. That can't be. They're just pretending to lull us into a false sense of security. I wonder what they're up to. Are they secretly planning to melt the polar ice caps? Hmm, you can change the channel. I need to make preparations. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello! Bye! W what's that? Bye? Bye! Bye? No! Don't buy anymore! Stop buying! Stop buying! What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Hello? Hello! Sell! What's that? Sell! No! Don't sell yet! Don't sell! Don't sell! What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Sell! What's that? Sell! Sell! Sell? Sell. Sell? Are you sure? No. Buy. Buy everything. Buy. Buy. What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Mm. Hello? Hello? Sell. What's that? Sell. Sell. Sell? Sell. Sell? Are you sure? Yes. Sell now. Quickly. Stop buying. Stop buying. What's that? Phew. Yeah. That was close. Hello? Hello? Um. Bye. What's that? Bye? Bye. Bye? Bye. Bye? Wouldn't you recommend selling eventually? No. Bye. Bye, everything. No. Look, Bruce, it's see, it's a boy. boy. What? Wow, what? you're figuring Just things out. I'm so proud sure. of you. Oh, no. Not again. The phone call. Hello? You still there? What's that? What? Lost everything? Not again. <sighs> okay. I understand. All right. Later. <sighs> Didn't you want to make a phone call? Here. You can keep the phone. <sighs> wow. And she's thrilled. Yes, I'm glad I finally figured that out. Yeah, and that's only one thing. You've got way more, which I would love to help you with, but I haven't gotten any kisses yet. Hmm. What was that? Hey, there's a coin in there. Ah. Okay, so now we can finally get a coffee. <laughs> Poor guy's gonna be shooting earwax out of his well oh, ears. Um wait, wrong door. 
Who said that about the earwax? The bee man. Did you say that, or did somebody in chat say that? Me. Oh. I wasn't sure if you knew about that or not. Well, I mean, I heard him say he has an allergy or really a reaction. Um, Sometimes I don't know if you're... Use coin with coin <laughs> slot. I figured out this was a coffee machine. Good for you. You know, sometimes I don't know necessarily. It's not I shouldn't say not smart enough. Pick but... up cup. Oh, I wonder if you can figure some of these things out on your own, you know? Mm hmm And I'm very glad that you do. Use coffee with B-Man. Here, I've brought you a cup of coffee. How considerate of you. Oh my god. Yep. <gasps> Don't forget to pick up the pen or crayon or whatever the fuck now, I think. No, and now you have nice earwax cup. Look at that yummy earwax. Excuse me, I still need uh, them. Hello, we have hello, to do. stranger woman. Go ahead and keep calling me stranger. As you wish, stranger woman. What was the deal with your ear? Why don't you just there? tell him your real Some name? Kind of an allergic reaction to a hot beverages. Ah, oh, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. I'll be going then. Go ahead. Ugh. Did we use the earwax on? <sighs> it's yellowish. Mm -hmm. I can use it on the professor, can't I? Can't I? No, not yet. First, you have to make it look like uh, I'm not helping you. A couple of patterns can't hurt. A couple of patterns can't hurt. There's only one choice available. Stinky drink. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. Um... Earwax. Wax like and amber colored. So now we need something to put in it. I didn't say that. I'm guessing. Something that will make it look like dino DNA. This is sad Do that he can't just... figure this out. <laughs> oh, really? Come on. No, he's saying, Andrew, help guy. <laughs> And I keep saying that if he wants my help, he has to give me a kiss and call the helpline. The fact that he's not taking advantage of that is entirely his fault. All right. Well, you know, I want to try and do it myself at first. <laughs> but we've already burned an hour, so... Ah, oh, thank you for calling Boyfriend Helpline. <laughs> what do you need help with? How do I get a ticket for the laundry chute from the professor? One moment, please. Elevator music. Elevator music. Elevator music. Do, do, do. Hello. I am your boyfriend. I'm here to help. <laughs> Been waiting to do that. I like doing that. It's fun. I have stupid things in my head like that. Anyway, welcome to... Now, which are we trying to get? We need a clothes hanger, or as it is, a train ticket. 
So, first... Let's see, where are you at right now? I haven't entirely been paying attention because Happy Wheels is too much fun. Okay, so I have a earwax, I have the phone, I have pinking shears, right. a cocktail menu, right. warm pot, all right. that stuff. Okay, so another thing we need to do, well, and again, this really isn't helpful, I, at least I think it's not, but we do want to get, excuse me, we do want to get Peter away from the bar. So, if you'll go back into the bathroom, even though I know we don't really want to deal with Petra, but oh well. Again, remember, check everywhere. There were things we could take in the bathroom that we need. Uh, more specifically, a bean dip over on the table. Then we have to give that to Peter and watch him run for the hills, or more mm. specifically... Let's... Wait, no, wrong door! Damn it. <laughs> At least it's not too slow loading up area after area. Usually. No, I had that. I had, I had that problem on my end too. It takes a couple seconds. I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. <laughs> oh, oh, it'll get you back on your feet. That ain't bean dip. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Of course, then once you go back in the bathroom, you'll see. Water, a drink. However. We need a specific One drink. drink of course. One dear. drink, please. What will it be? Of course. What'll it be? A stinky drink. A stinky drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. But what's that funky smell? Did somebody die suddenly? <laughs> That's a stinky drink for you. Time to drink it. Must be crazy. Are you all right, Edna? Say something. I'm getting the natives of Sur it Yes, I had to destroy it. Something as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left a fly. Mm. Yes. The fly. I could press the fly into the earwax. What can we use that, that sounds good fly to with? A fly and so amber. Why don't we just do it? Yes. It resembles a mosquito or that's a been mosquito. enclosed in tree resin. Or a mosquito, yes. Still not. I mean, we are kind of done, <clears throat> but later we'll have. You know, once we get the crayon. I forget if we have to get the crayon or something. We can write different drinks on the actual menu to make him make them, which we'll need to do to get him out of the bar so that we can grab the shovel. Mm-hmm. But that's later. Let's go back to the. Oh, I was gonna say, let's go back to the bathroom. <laughs> How cute! I'm a real matchmaker, aren't I? How happy they look! <laughs> I'd rather not disturb them. I'm sure they want to. They look so cute home. sitting on urinals. <laughs> well, I think I'll do it from here, so thank I've you for calling for the you. boyfriend helpline. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Remember, be if you need to call me, I'm just a kiss away. Like I'll keep it. This is exactly what I need for my dino breeding program. May I keep it? What will you give me in return? Hmm. 
Well, the only thing I can give you is my ticket for the laundry lift. After all, I no longer need to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. Do we have a deal? Done deal. This is supposed to be a ticket? That's just a coat hanger. Mm-hmm. But if I remember correctly, Mr. Professor isn't next in the lineup, is he? No, but that doesn't mean we can't use it. I think. Hi there. Tickets, please. I'll be going then. I'll be going then. Please keep the ticket control area clear for the others while you're at it. <laughs> Code hanger number three with ticket. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. That's a valid ticket, but it isn't your turn yet. Please stand in line and wait until your number comes up. What? You've got ticket number three, but number two is up next. Why, that's stupid. The system never fails. Well, it's failing now! Well, it's failing me now! Perhaps we should go talk to Mr. Alaluminum. Alaman! Alaman! Talk to Aluman. Hey, Alan! Please stop. Hello, Edna. What brings you here this time? the coat hanger normally I despise the concept of material possessions but the coat hanger is essential to me I'm afraid <laughs> for one thing it is my aerial that connects me to the ethereal realm I'm also keeping it handy just in case an aluminum suit is very prone to wrinkling you know I have to get a move on Take care of your karma. Excuse me, please. Yes, my child. Do you really need this coat hanger for your weather experiment? I've got one here that's at least as good. Aha. Uh -huh. And now you'd like to swap. That would be nifty. Well, if it makes you happy. Thank you. You're a real friend. Hmm. He looks bigger in the when you're actually talking to him, but yeah, now we have number two. It's all a, it's forced perspective. I guess, yeah. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. You may pass. Hello over there. Oh, a new neighbor. Who are you? I am Mr. Frock, of course. Of course. Saying that. It is meant for a human, but I am a... A frock. I get it. Oh, no, not at all, you flatterer. I am merely a coat. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you live here. Why not? This lift offers a lot of convenience for a piece of apparel like me. And... What convenience exactly would that be? Well, there's this rail where you can put coat hangers. And it's dry. We clothes are very absorbent, you know. I see. Where's this lift going? I can't answer that, I'm afraid. There are three exits in total. One of them is the laundry in the basement. You get a great view from there. Unfortunately, I forget where the other two exits lead. Why? How long have you been hanging up here? <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Toga. Wow, <laughs> you are exceptionally white. What do you use? Astonishing, isn't it? I'm very proud of my colorlessness. 
I used to be beige, but there's not a lot of light in here, so the pigments left out of boredom. <laughs> Are there any moths in here? Don't frighten me. What makes you think that? Have you seen anything? I had a feeling just now of something moving in the shadows. Oh, that. Those are just wolf spiders. Ooh. There are lots of them in here, but moths. Now, that would be a disaster. My fabric is so delicate. Isn't the next exit due soon? I have the same feeling that time has slowed down <laughs> while we were talking. Oh, here it is. Fun. Lovely. The guys from the laundry have packed this pretty well. It's packed too tightly. What? I don't believe it. The scissors don't even leave a scratch. If only I had some gasoline and a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, Edna. Um. What? <laughs> I don't believe it. It doesn't even leave a scratch. If only I had some gasoline and a chainsaw. Power usage seems to be within acceptable range. Hmm. They're using too much energy. It's like someone's leaving the light on all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. Possible tentacle being from the dimensions in Don't between. Tell me. You're Edna, right? Hey, how do you know that? There isn't much that Dr. Marcel can hide from me, so we seem to be fellow prisoners. By the way, people call me the Keymaster. Isn't that the cutest nickname? Edna has clearly been through the asylum before. I can only wonder if she's ran into the Keymaster before. What else do you, what know, else do you about know about me? me? Just that a dark secret links you to the doctor. An unspeakable, dark secret. He spends much time and energy trying to erase your memory. One could even say it is a personal crusade. And the fact that you always find a way to remember drives him to great irritation. Hmm. That... <laughs> that dot right there that I know is supposed to just be an opening and through the viewing window is kind of funny. Um. Do you know how I can get out of here? Yes. What? Yes, I think yes. it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to, like, get out of make here. a nose on him. plenty of time mm. to figure out an escape plan. Only problem is, I can't do anything about it in here. You, on the other hand, can move relatively unrestricted out there. And you are clever. Unlike most other inmates. So, what's your plan? First, you must find a way to the other side of the bars. Then, you'll have to make a copy of the master key. We'll be able to get out of the building with that. It opens my cell door, too. Finally, we need a vehicle to exit the compound. Sounds fairly simple, but... 
How do I get a copy of the master key? How do I get a copy of the master key? You'll have to find the original first. Then you'll need clay for the imprint, a furnace to bake the clay, and an easily melted metal to cast the copy. Gold would be perfect. There was a gold medal. Yes, there was a gold medal, but you don't know how to get it. No, but we'll see. Where, Where can, can I, I find, find clay? clay? Good question. The clay from occupation on season two of American Idol. Pounded into ugly ashtrays. But, um, you can't use that anymore. But maybe it would help you to know that this is season two. Yeah, has been season built two. on a pretty clay-packed layer of earth. Oh, clay from the basement. How do I get, How a, vehicle? Do I get a vehicle? Everything in its time, but we're not there by a long shot yet. How do I get to the other side of the grate? You'll find a way, I'm sure. Maybe through the laundry lift system. There is a third exit in the basement. But please, don't take any unnecessary risks. If you drop down there without soft padding, you'll break every bone in your body. And that's it for my plan. How very considerate. Thank you. I think I know what I have to do now. Good luck, Edna. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Hmm. Why are you in Why solitary? Are you in solitary. They think I'm dangerous, and they're probably right. That's all you need to know. Okay. Is there anything else you know about Dr. Marcel? Is there anything else you know about Dr. Marcel? He is a sick man, guided by hate. Ever since the death of his son, he's been bitter and eccentric, locks himself up in his secret room, and performs these sadistic electric shock treatments on his patients. A dark secret links you to the doctor. He's obsessed with the idea of erasing your memory. Is that enough information? He's framing us for the death of his son, but we didn't actually kill him, did we? I can do without your help. I'm not no. going to say nothing. I've got to go. Give my regards to Lady Liberty. The models are from the last Miss Mentally Unbalanced pattern. <laughs> it says here that Miss September stabbed her husband and ate the dog. Meow! You better behave, Harv. Hmm. Press the red button. Oh. Should Go I actually? Down. Yes. Press the button. Would I ever steer you wrong, babe? You would. I was gonna say, don't answer that. Just press the button. Press the button. Isn't that supposed to alert people? Press the button. Wouldn't that draw unnecessary attention? Press the button. Press the hey, button. Harvey. Shall I press it? I'd like to see that. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead, be my guest. I'll do it. I'll really do it. You don't have the guts. I'm serious. Chicken, chicken. Edna. What now? It doesn't seem to have had any effect. <laughs> the alarm's broken. <laughs> don't push it, says Noe. Well, <laughs> I did, but uh, it doesn't do squat. Yes, push it. Push it real good. Hello, two people sharing a bed and sweater. No. How dare you? That's offensive. They're conjoined twins. Madi and Hadi. Hi, you two. Hello. Hello and hello. Who are you? You. I'm Marty, and this is my twin brother, Hadi. We are Siamese twins, but I bet you already suspected as much. Sorry, Siamese twin. 
Wait, isn't Siamese and conjoin the same thing? Uh, yes. Adi and Madi? Those are highly unusual names. Well, that's because our dad is Japanese. And our mom is of Hopi origin. But you must have suspected as much. You can tell from Hadi's almond eyes. Why are you just sitting around here? We're making sure no one steals our bed. And all the beds are the same. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. If you know what to look for, there are huge differences. It's like with Hottie and me, there are few people who can distinguish between us. But after a while, you start to recognize the differences. <laughs> that is our secret twin power, so to speak. We see the differences where others just shrug their shoulders helplessly. Which brings us back to the subject of beds. On first appearance, they all look the same. But this one here, is the only one with a bed sheet. Mm hmm. Why are the both of you only wearing one sweater? That's a silly question. It's much too warm for wearing two. You're not Siamese twins at all. Correct. We are actually Siamese triplets. But Brody is away in Paris studying art history. Yes, he's always been the strange one. <laughs> Wait, isn't Siamese where uh, the twins look completely different? Mm. No, taking off. Will you come along? No, that's no. fraternal. We have the mm. softest blanket in the whole world right here. And where? Pray tell, would we go anyway? Mm. See you later. Rock on. And send my regards to Lady Liberty if you see her. Geez, the first perspective on that. I wonder if those two only pretend to be related. And they're really just feeling each other up underneath the sweatshirt. Firstly, fuck off. Secondly, go back. And yes, maybe they do like feeling each other up under the sweatshirt. I wish I was feeling you up right now, but I can't. Hmm. There is a way to get them out of the sweater if you thought about it for five seconds. What is in your inventory that can cut? That seems kind of rude. Stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free! Wow! What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? Hey, come on, talk to What's wrong? You're free! Each of you guys can do whatever you always wanted to do. Oh, the wealth of possibilities. And the accompanying pressure that comes with it. Ooh, my. Sounds like they just want to escape their problems. Together. <laughs> So is that just a completionist thing? I'm gonna guess. Well, we actually have to go back. Uh, wait a minute, I'm not helping you. Mm. What was that? Me blowing you a kiss, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it didn't sound like it was like. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll admit it doesn't yeah, sound it, very kids <laughs> like. It does. It's not, it sounded very like. Mm. Let's try that again. Nah. <laughs> again, or you could have just tried kissing me. Okay. Ring, ring. Sorry, all our operators are busy right now. 
Please call again later. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome oh, back no, wait. to you need that to get a room with Guy. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh lord. Needs my help yet again, but that's what I'm here for. All right, so leave leave them to go do their thing. They'll leave the bed eventually. Okay. We need a way to get to the third floor or basement, and we can't at the moment because you have to go back to the first floor. Well, technically it's the third floor, I guess, because it's not the basement, but whatever. We need to get back to the first level that we were at. And then go back to the bathroom because you forgot yet another snack. Here we go. Basically, we're just running all the way back, getting a bag of potato chips. We're just going to sit here and wait for a second. The next exit is approaching. We need to land there, but we can't because we need something soft to land on. Mm-hmm. That pillow, or blanket, I should say, that they, that Hati and Moti were laying on is a very good thing to use, but we yeah, needed to get down there. So ah. we'll photo chips on the blanket. Once we get back there, leave, come back. Lift we'll girl! Gone, then... Lovely. Yes. Achievement. Okay. Okay. I don't want to take it all at once. Well, I don't think it's very appealing to put the finger food right next to the toilets. Uh, it's not what? a potluck party. I'm glad that they have a completely separate answer for, response for that, but I was thinking, oh, I can just use the pot as a small bowl and pick, put some of the finger food in there, but like... No... <sighs> Normally, I love to play with my food, but this food here seems to be a real party pooper. Because <laughs> it's right next to the toe, it's okay. Um, so what? How do I not take all of it at once? Do I use the pinking shears? I love to play with my food, but this food here mm -hmm. seems to be a real party pooper. To take just, just some take of it. the Chris, uh, pick up I finger food. Take it all at once. The what? Pick up finger I food. I don't want to take it all at once. How no, no, just take the chips. Do you not see chips there? There's finger food. Hello. Yes. Oh, poor network okay, connection. Just making sure. Oh, well, that's why. Yeah. I can't get I just the crispy chips. Once. You should. I'm not able to. Listen. I don't even know when my birthday is. Keep I trying. Remember. I bet I'm a Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio, I'm a lobster. <laughs> I don't want to take it all at once. Then how do I not take it all at once, game? I don't want to take it all at once. No! Come on, Skype. Reconnect for me, please.
There we go. Hello! Is that from when the Mythbusters were testing if avalanches really did cause um or yodeling really did cause avalanches? That's what it was. Uh huh. You just <sighs> it was from when they were using the scale model. Yeah. Right. Anyway, Adam just yelled into um a blowhorn, just like yodel. Except, obviously, way letter. Eat all the people and use other pe the other people as dip. Great suggestion, yeah, sure. Justin! Yeah, Justin would suggest that. <laughs> Anyways. How do I just get the chips? You should be able to get the chips. Why aren't you getting the chips? I don't Unless know. The Unless the chips are somewhere else. And I've forgotten, I but know. I don't think they are. I don't fucking remember. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Look at shelf. Let's. This is all junk oh. from occupation. <laughs> is it all finger food? Can you not specifically look at the chips? Uh uh. I know there's chips somewhere. Spoon. Hey, don't touch chips? that! That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house! Oh, hey! It's right now! There's no time to rest now! Talk to Barkeeper! Barkeep? One drink, please! Cannot course, see! What will it be? What you doing? Oh, the. Ah. Uh... <laughs> one walkthrough, please. Yeah, you would like one of those, wouldn't you? It's not on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Struggle <laughs> mm. jug. Okay, okay. You have Struggle to show him. Okay, no, okay. I really shouldn't be giving you tips anymore, but I will. You have to show him your police badge. Paraornithological branch of the FBI, Special Squad. Sergeant Edna. Druggle Jug? Of course I can show you identification. Druggle Jug. You bet. Can I have access to the King now? Druggle Jug. Cool. I mean, thank you. Lovely. We can speak with well, the King now. Well, well. My scouts reported that you'd be coming. A new power, they said, is on the rise in the eastern realm of the recreation room. What are you talking about? So, you managed to overcome my guard. Poor, devoted Drugglejog. I will avenge him with your blood. What? But woe is me. My hand is weak, for the weight of a sword is far too much for me to bear. 
Have I been temple morphed into the wrong game? <laughs> Before you usurp what my dynasty has achieved through the years, my castle, my throne, and my gold medal from the jigsaw puzzle contest, you will have to defeat me in a mental duel. Are you prepared for the challenge? Um, do I say I am ready or I don't want your super throne or I am ready. I am. I am ready. <laughs> so be it. Let the joust begin. There's no turning back now. It's all or nothing. Victory or defeat. Glory or shame. Fish or cut bait. You know how to create suspense. I will <laughs> ask you a question. And you shall give me the answer or perish. All right, all right. Just ask the question. Well, then. The question is heads or tails. That's all? Heads or tails? That's the duel for the royal throne? Heads or tails. Is there a said answer that always works or does both fail? They both fail. Heads. Tails. Have you had enough? Hanging up now. Call back later. What, I gave you enough hints. A golden medal? Genuine gold? Of course. And that's not all. Why? What else? Um. Well, all right. Just genuine gold. Nothing else. What were you expecting? Hmm. I want to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails? Tails. Heads. Have you had enough? Why must I always lose? Do not blame yourself. There was a time when I too had to endure the same misfortunes as you. I tell nary a lie. I was a regular misadventurer. But then I went out for a walk one night. On the roof of the tower, there was a thunderstorm brewing. I opened my umbrella as a precaution, and my feet were immersed in buckets of water when I noticed that the TV antenna was crooked. Immediately, I took it upon myself to rectify the problem. What I remember next is seeing a dazzling flash of light. What exactly it was, I cannot fathom. But after that incident, I've never been off the mark again. No. Well, I'll be gone then. Cheerio! Reconnecting. Connection is poor. Oh, Skype. Grrrr. Is it still trying to reconnect?
please stop doing that, Sky. Ha <laughs> Okay, um... Hmm... I know I'm missing something still. Come on. Hello, Droggy. Druggle Jug. All right. Druggle Jug, then. Druggle Jug. <sighs> he's so cute when he's mad. <laughs> Druggle Jug. Druggle Jug? Druggle Jug? Oh, Lord. Struggle jug. Can you move it <laughs> along? I am Groot. I am Groot. I am going to hang up. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> now I'm just going along with every character that just says one... One word or phrase. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I love you so much. Because you do. Because I'm lovable. And because I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. No, oh. he's one big fat bumblebee. Excuse me, I still need them. Hello, Bee Man. Hello, stranger woman. You can call me Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. What was the deal with your earwax again? It is some kind of an allergic reaction to hot beverages. Ah, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. I'll be going then. Go ahead. What shall I write? Biggity boogity boo walk through Edna surprise. Let's go with the walk through. Walk through. Okay. <laughs> How no, much of a fourth wall her. break will this be? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? One walkthrough, please. It's not on the menu. Of course it is. Bright and clear. What? Let me see. We have a little joker here. That's not my handwriting. You've written that yourself. Admit it. Well, damn. How do we make you write it? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, that'll be in the next week's stream. Okay! <laughs> we have yet to learn yet. We have yet to learn yet. We have to learn yet another power from a transmogrification. More specifically, forging signatures. Ah!
Okay. That should be interesting. Okay. So. We will save. In slot 3. And save. In slot 4. Why you do that, I don't know. Because I don't trust old Java games saving correctly. Especially when even modern games fail to save in their slots correctly. I never had any problems when I played it. I've had problems with so many fucking games. <laughs> also, it's good to have a place to go back to if you need to. Okay. This is a weird game, Noe. <laughs> it is a weird game. Um, but it's an interesting one. The Force Perspective is pretty whack, though. I mean, just come on. Look at how big Edna gets all of a sudden. Edna big! <laughs> Anyways, that should do it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this 2 gay stream. Uh, leave a like if you did. Uh, consider sharing if you think other people would. Subscribe if you want to see more 2 gay streams of Edna and Harvey the Breakout. We have a large backlog of stuff like the Zero Escape series. We played Jazz Punk, and we also did Night in the Woods. That was very fun. Yes. And if he gets new videos out, we'd actually also have another series, but he doesn't, you know, he edits once every seven years. Aww. I blame the fact that I, <laughs> when No Man's Sky did the next update, I tried to fix all the Microsoft uh, .NET redistributables, which don't work, which notoriously don't work on my computer's CPU. Um, so a lot of games don't even run. I can't play Astroneer, I can't play, uh, No Man's Sky now. I was able to for a while. There were some fixes that made it compatible, but now it's not. Um, but... No. No. Whenever I would screw with them, and when I did, it ruins anything else that runs with the .NET framework. So that's ruined my video editor, Movie Studio. Um, it also ruined the Twitch launcher, so now I'm resorting to the default Minecraft launcher again. Ugh. I hate having to use that thing. <laughs> I can't even properly run the AT launcher because it's laggy as hell. And I don't think it's actually fully uh, running with all the latest Forge versions. So. Yay. Anyway, uh, that should do it. So, um... Ooh, I almost forgot. Hit the little bell if you want notifications for when we go live. There we go. And also, my channel is more than just me and Andrew's stuff. I also do Minecraft and... Oh, sorry. Um, I'm working on Factorio. I still gotta do... <laughs> I still gotta do more background building so they can actually do some design and layouts and stuff and get to rocket launching eventually. Or more rocket, rocket launching. What? Only watch our stuff. It's the fun stuff. Don't say that. Then nobody will come to my Minecraft or Factorio streams. Plenty of people. Well, I don't know about your Factorio streams. <laughs> people come to your Minecraft streams, like that one annoying motherfucker who keeps coming. <laughs> if YouTube really Minecraft watcher comes think. along and watches this stream. Oh, uh, he's going to say, fuck that, Andrew, bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't give a shit. Uh, I highly doubt he's going to watch this. It's not like his name is, you know, his name is huge too, Minecraft, whatever the fuck. He's not coming to watch this shit. True, but I have seen, seen him on a Factorio stream, if I remember correctly. Hmm... What? Like I said, he probably only watches on Sundays or some shit. He doesn't know what the, He probably doesn't even know these exist. Besides, he's probably too busy saying, Oh, you don't read chat fast enough. <laughs> because I'm playing the goddamn game. I'm not like every other streamer who does read their chat literally constantly. Because I don't have two monitors. I have a... Okay. 
big main monitor, oh, and then my laptop off to the side. You also don't have that much chat to read anyway, so you don't think it's worth it to go read it. Yeah. <sighs> I really should read it more often, though, because of how little chat I get. It's actually a lot more manageable. <laughs> you think, but... Yes, just wait till he comes and watches this, and he's like, Oh my god, that asshole! Fuck my drag, right? Seriously. <laughs> Any hoozle. Um... That should do it. We hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Well, that's time. This is Guy Smith and... Andrew B. Signing off. Until next time, take care. We'll see you guys. Bye! Bye!